Hello everyone, I am your produce guy, and it is springtime here in northern Utah. Great time of year. Everything's turning green, things are warming up, and one of the delights, the particular delights of this season, one of my favorites, is rhubarb. Rhubarb is great in pies. You can make a sauce with it to pour over ice cream. It is terrific. A little tartness to it. Uh, add a little bit of sugar or mix it with some other fruit and to add some sweetness. Oh, it's just fantastic. So, I'm out here in the backyard of a neighbor, uh, with permission this time, and let me show you what we've got going on here. Well, here's a rhubarb plant, and you can see the, the leaves, the beautiful leaves out here now. Uh, very important, these leaves are toxic, so no eating the leaves. If, do you understand me? No eating the leaves. Thank you. Here, uh, here inside, let me pull these back, and you can see the red stalks that are growing here. This one still has a little ways to go, this plant, before these are ready to harvest. But every year when the frost comes, this plant dies back, and in the spring, the roots are still alive. It uh, just pops right back up. Now, we need to uh, get over to the kitchen, and I've got some rhubarb there that we're going to show you and let you know how to select your own in the grocery store. But first, I've got a little Your Produce Guy quiz for you. You've seen this growing here. You know we use it in desserts. Tell me, do you think it's a fruit or a vegetable? Stay tuned to the end of the video, and I'll give you the answer. Back in the kitchen now, and I have with me some rhubarb stalks that I picked up down at the local market. These things are gorgeous and my mouth is already watering. Think of thinking of the things I'm going to put these uh, to use in. Uh, rhubarb, of course, used in a lot of sweet desserts. So let's, uh, let's get a closer look at these. Rhubarb is always sold in the store without the leaves uh, because of that toxicity factor we mentioned. Shouldn't be eating those, they don't come into the store. They're, they're taken off at the, out in the field. What you want to look for when buying rhubarb uh, these are some beautiful crimson stalks here. You want to look for smooth, unblemished, no bruises, no, no scars or anything like that. I did pick up one here. Look at this one. This one's got a, uh, a scar right here uh, where it's been um, handled roughly. Or uh, especially what you see, like we talked about with radishes, is as they sit on the shelf, somebody moves them around. Uh, they start to wear. They get uh, the white spots on them where the red, the flesh, is wearing away there, the skin of that. And so that can tell you that it's been around in the shop a little while. So you don't want to, uh, you don't want to pick up that kind of stuff. Now, as far as ripeness, the color does not indicate ripeness. The size is what you want. The, the uh, size indicates it. R rhubarb can be this beautiful crimson. It can be a pink. It can even be uh, a green color like here, here on the end, that little coloration right there, you'll find stalks that are that color that are perfectly ripe and ready to use. I am all excited. This is first rhubarb of the spring, just come into the stores within the last week. And I am going to make, first of all with this, a delicious rhubarb pie. There are some who want to put strawberries with their rhubarb pie. I say, no, that's wrong. Rhubarb stands on its own. So I'm excited for that. That's one that we'll put together for you, the delicious rhubarb pie. The other, I've got an experiment I want to try. I want to make some rhubarb sorbet. Can you imagine that? If you've tasted rhubarb before, can you imagine that in a sorbet? We're going to put that together for you. I'm so excited for that. Thank you so much for being with us. I am your produce guy. Remember, as always, fresh is the very best. All right, you've seen rhubarb. You've seen it growing in the garden. Tell me now, what did you think? Vegetable or fruit? To see it growing, you would say it's a vegetable, and I think I agree with that. However, in 1947, they took the case to court, and the court ruled, because we use it in dessert applications, that it is indeed a fruit. And that went to court because of tax and tariff restrictions on imported fruits and vegetables. And by making rhubarb a fruit, it actually reduced the tariffs and made it uh, less costly 
to get imported rhubarb. So that's uh, the Your Produce Guy quiz today. for today. Let me know how you did on that. Look forward to seeing you next time. Today I've got some fresh blackberries that were on special down at the market and I'm going to make a little dessert tart with those. An elegant dessert, so simple, four ingredients. Let me share it with you now.